Can you tell us a little bit about why you're here and what you're doing? Uh, basically, Shenzhen is the world's largest electronics market. Most of the world's electronics manufacturing happens about 50 kilometers uh, from here. And Shenzhen acts as a clearinghouse for all the producers of equipment uh, to, to, to get all the stuff that they produce into the hands of the consumers of, of all those parts and things like that. So, so my role in Shenzhen is to uh, dip a bucket into the water of this huge river of components and things going past and getting all that uh, hacking goodness into the hands of hackers all over the world. I just wondered if you could tell us a little bit about your motivations for coming here, for moving all the way from Australia <laughs> to Shenzhen, China. And, and leaving my family. Leaving and leaving my your wife family and, kids, and your yeah. wife and kids. And, yeah. and what was your motivation for doing that? Uh, I did a couple of, in a hackerspace, we did a couple of group projects, which means buying parts for a couple of dozen boards. And I realized just how much time it took to source parts. And uh, you see a fun project on somebody's website and you think, okay, I'll, I'll cook that up this weekend. But, and then you sit down to source all the parts and you may spend, you know, by the time you've gone to DigiKey and Mouser and Farnell and, and, and checked out uh, six or seven different eBay suppliers and asked them questions, get responses back, it can take you 10 or 15 hours just to find the parts for something. And I thought there has to be a better way. Um, I've been studying Chinese for many years. Uh, I've been studying China for even longer than that. And I thought, hey, with my, uh, within our hackerspace, I ended up being the person who, who did the sourcing for stuff because it's actually something that I like doing. So I thought, hey, with my Chinese ability and my, my love of hacking and my wanting to help people make things, I'm in a really right position to, to, to pull up my roots and move to Shenzhen, China, the, the, the home of the largest electronics market in the universe. And, uh, and put something together that can help people all over, all over the world make things. And uh, what do you think the difference is between eBay, Taobao, or AliExpress and actually being here in the market? Uh, choice is a big one. Uh, being able to see things, being able to touch and feel something. Uh, also being able to interact with the sellers. I mean, you really need Chinese to be able to do this, but if you can say, well, what you've got isn't quite right, but if you've got something else and they'll say, yeah, we'll have it for you, we'll have it for you in two days, or go and see this other shop, it's, it's really the immediacy of it adds a lot of the value to being here. Okay. And so what are you actually doing right now? What's, what are you engaged in? What's your business right now? Uh, at the moment, as a, as a, as a platform for, for, for getting to that point, I'm been focusing on PCBs and, and solder paste stencils. Uh, here's an example of some, some PCBs that a, that a fantastic customer of mine uh, uh, has, has done. So he's designed this, he sent me the boards, and these PCBs uh, will, will get shipped off to Germany tonight. They'll be there in about three or four days, to be sent by DHL. So I'm concentrating on the PCBs at the moment. Uh, I've got different offerings so that if you want something in a hurry, you can have PCBs in your hand within six or seven days after ordering. Or if you're value conscious, you can have something for, for under $20. Uh, you can get wonderful PCs for your project. You're not just doing PCBs. You've also started doing solder stencils, as I understand. That's right. Solder paste stencils. These are uh, chemical etched or laser cut solder, uh, solder paste stencils. They can be uh, this size for just doing one board, or they can be larger for doing a panelized boards. Yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to do is make it easy for people so that they can give me their designs, and I'll take care of both the PCBs and also the solder paste stencils. Um, recently, there was an article by Zach Hoken about how to get PCBs and solar stencils in Hua Chang Bay. Um, but if you're not in Hua Chang Bay, there's so much stuff that you have to take care of. You have to take care of the payment. You have to take care of the, uh, the, the shipment. You have to take care of uh, getting your job to the PCB company and to the stencil company. You have to take care of the panelization and making sure that the files for the PCBs and the stencils are a match. You have to take care of getting them all together. So that's a whole lot of stuff to take care of. So what I'm trying to do is make it as easy as possible for people to get their hands on stencils and PCBs. And uh, you were telling me before about the solder paste. A solder paste is a mixture of solder balls and flux. And the flux works at temperature to deoxidize the, the solder paste, uh, to deoxidize the flux balls. That also happens at room temperature. So over time, the, the flux becomes a, a gluggy mess that's not the gel that you should be using for, for putting onto your PCBs. 
I'd like to once again make it easy for people by getting solder paste that's been kept cool its whole life into the hands of hackers so that they can they can experience the pleasure of, of dealing with solder paste how it should be and rather than a, a, a chunky mess. And how long have you been here now? Uh, a year and a half. I learned Chinese for five years and I've been here for a year and a half. And what was the biggest challenge? Uh, probably not having my wife cooking. <laughs> I've been with her for 25 years. We have two sons, um, and she's an excellent cook, and I really desperately miss her cooking. That's one thing that I still struggle with after, after a year and a half. Also, it tends to be pretty darn hot here pretty much all of the year, apart from winter. It's okay today, but it's very common to have temperature around about 30 degrees. Uh, I don't know what that is in F. Uh, 30 degrees, but because of the humidity, it feels generally perceived temperature of about 37 to 38 degrees and that's well if you're comfortable with Florida in, in summer then then you'll love it here <laughs> and what what challenges do you see to people who come here to try to buy things the biggest challenge is is language uh, if you don't have language if you don't have a way to like the, the, the most important thing to have with in, in the market here is relationships with people and I'm deeply indebted, indebted to Eric Pan for introducing me to a lot of his sellers. Thank you very much. I couldn't have done, <laughs> done it without you. Uh, but having those relationships means that um, the, the fact is that a lot of the stuff in Hua Chang Bay is either fake or seconds or it's old stock. It's original, but it's old stock. So it's, it's, you know, it's three years old and it's been oxidized. So it's the relationships there with the sellers that is is going to make the difference between you getting stuff that you actually want to put into your products and stuff that's going to be a headache. So having that relationships, partly because uh, you've been introduced and partly because you've been able to culture those relationships yourself with a knowledge of Chinese is, uh, is really important. Zach Hoken's finding that at the moment. He's got a Chinese girlfriend and he's, uh, he's Chinese is really going along very nicely. But having a command of the language is really important. Yeah. It sounds like there's actually a sort of sizable expat community here working in electronics. Uh, you and Zach, anyone else notable? Uh, Tully Gian is here. He used to work for Seed. He now does uh, samurai circuits. Uh, I think we're just at the start of something. I think there's a, a lot of very interesting web articles at the moment. Zach's doing some good stuff. You've got some good articles on dangerous prototypes. I think we're going to see a lot more of this in future. And I think this is going to be good for hacking. So uh, I, I love showing people around the market. I love helping, helping people get started because this is all good for hackers. Basically, I, I, I want to be there for hacker spaces. Uh, I'd like to be talking more with hacker spaces about, about how I can support them with things like parts and PCBs. I'd also like to do more um, working with other people like Dangerous Prototypes, like uh, some, of the other, some of the other websites that are around there that are that to do with hacking. Mm -hmm. And if someone were coming here to visit, what two or three buildings would you recommend they visit if they only have a day or so? Uh, I'd recommend first to check out uh, Dangerous Prototypes because of Ian's uh, recent mapping of Hua Chang Bay. Uh, the one building that you really want to go to because it has everything there is Seg Plaza. It's, uh, it's the building behind us somewhere that's uh, probably the most iconic building in Shenzhen because it's the tallest around here for a long way. Uh, the top of this building is office, office buildings, but the first 10 floors are electronics. And there's an association between the, the bottom of the, the floors, which is components, and each floor that you go up is a little bit higher on the value chain. So right at the top floor is complete PCBs, but in the middle is networking and tools and uh, storage and cables and things like that. Back down to the bottom, there's just components. So if you're just going to go to one building, uh, Seg Plaza is the place to go. But as, as Ian's noted uh, on his mapping expedition, there's a lot of stuff in the, in the buildings around there that's also good. What's your favorite building? Uh, <laughs> there's a restaurant that I like to go to <laughs> for lunch. Uh, translated into to English, uh, it's translated to uh, basically good and lots of it. So I like to go to that place for lunch. It's a kind of a point and shoot place and it's good and it's cheap and that, that makes me feel happy. If a, if a hackerspace is out there watching and they want to get in touch with you or want to start a project with you, what should they do? Go to my website, www.hackfana.com. I've got a sign I printed here. It's on invisible ink, on invisible paper. Uh, yeah, and you can get my email address there. I also have an IRC channel on the Freenode network, so that's hash hackfana or pound hackfana. 
Uh, got a lot of my customers in there talking about some really cool things. We've also got some guys in there who are real live rocket scientists. So we have some fantastic conversations in there. Come in there, talk about uh, how we can collaborate hackerspaces and, and get some stuff going for your hackerspace. And what happens next for you? Uh, I'd like to be consolidating the PCB business. Uh, at the moment, it's really very manual. I'd like to automate that so uh, to make it easy for hackers, especially the online ordering is something that I'm working on now and desperate to, to get there. Uh, once, I'd, once I've done that, I'd like to move into basically outsourced kitting. Uh, if you've got a good design that you've come up with and you put it on your website, uh, either you have to worry about the sourcing of that and when somebody wants to buy that particular kit, it can take them uh, take that person 10 or 15 hours to source all the parts from that. I'd like to make it so that you as the designer and the person who wants to make that so that they don't have to worry about uh, so that they don't have to worry about the sourcing for that. So Ian, if you've designed a a, 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 a digital prawn as a, as a companion for your logic shrimp or something like that, uh, that is your product, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Uh, so you put that on your website, you come to my website, you put the list of materials on there, PCBs, that kind of stuff. I give you a link, you put that on your website, people can click on that, come to my website, uh, pay with PayPal, you're in and out in two minutes instead of 10 or 15 hours, and then somebody who's good at the fulfillment, which is me, uh, takes care of all the nasty stuff so that you can get back to designing cool stuff. Hey, very good. Thank you so much for talking with you're us. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>